hello everyone in this video we are going to create a mesh on a multi-body part that we will import through a step file so let's just import the part I'm going to import and this is the assembly that I'm going to work upon now as you can see this is a mechanism a door hinge mechanism and it comprises of uh, many components and we want to create meshes on all these components while keep uh, while maintaining their identity as individual solids so the way to approach this problem is i'm going to select this assm1 that is my part file and i'll go to new entity and i say explode and i'm going to explode them into solids and that reveals all the component it is made up of the next step is gonna s going to be selecting all of these exploded parts and create a compound out of them so I'll build a compound but I cannot start meshing here too so ne again I have to explode this compound one so I'll get, go to new entity and I'll say explode and selecting solids I'll get a list of these 16 solids so I can may rename them here uh, so that they are easily identifiable later in the design process um, but let's go to the mesh module and I'll create a mesh over this compound one without any hypothesis next I'm gonna create a sub mesh and I'm gonna select all of these solids and the algorithm is going to be netgen 1d to the 3d and the parameters are going to be max size, max size being 10 millimeters and minimum size being 0.5 millimeters say ok and apply and let's just compute the sub mesh as you can see it has also created a, an auto group that comprises of all these solids it is a compound it will be helpful for us later we'll see and let's unhide this mesh and this is the mesh that has been created and it comprises of all the individual volumes of the constituting solids and we can verify that as well by going to clipping and I'm going to create a plane that is parallel to the XY plane and passing through region and as you can see we can we cut right through the mesh and we can see all the magenta color tetrahedrons that this mesh is made up of okay now let's create the volumes of individual parts and doing so is very easy I'll go to mesh I'll go to mesh 1 and I'll say uh, create group some geometry and I'm going to select all the solids and say apply and close these uh, groups of volume are very useful later in the code as analysis uh, let's just switch off the clipping planes and you can see that if I turn off my main mesh at all the individual volumes have been uh, created into groups and are you <coughs> ready for utilization now suppose you want to represent this assembly in a higher level assembly and you want this to be a rigid assembly and so for that we need a group of all the volumes and to do so is again very straightforward so I'll go to the mesh one again and say create group and I'll select this new auto group that has been created uh, by automatically by the software okay oh sorry I'll say groups from geometry and then I'll select this geometry and say apply and close now let's hide the in initial components and let's unhide the last one and as you can see that it is a rigid group of all the volumes so all the volumes have been fused into one mesh 
and it can be useful later when, when we want to represent this as one solid uh, i hope it was useful